The school nurse for saving his life in the middle of the school day. Yeah, he says it all started when he wasn't feeling well and knew that he had to hurry to get help. Joe Boyle is many things. An enthusiastic history buff, an avid Cleveland sports fan, and like the superheroes he loves so much, he doesn't shy away from a battle. I was diagnosed with cancer almost 13 years ago. It's a fight that hasn't been easy. I have kidney cancer that has metastasized to, from top to bottom, brain, lip, lungs, thumb, hips, leg, and I think that's it. <laughs> Though you'd never know it. It is very inspiring for me um, to see someone who has been through so much to keep um, working hard every day and being here for our students. Most days you can find him in this classroom. I've been able to kind of build a wall between sick Joe and teacher Joe. But that wall came down while he was grading papers and planning lessons. He started coughing up blood. Teacher Joe was very sick Joe at work and that was um, that was uh, kind of a, a frightening moment for me. He made it to the school nurse's office, but says he doesn't remember much once he got there. It was a large, scary amount of blood that he was coughing up, and I knew he was on a blood thinner um, because he had prepared me for that. So I knew that we needed to get help immediately. There was no time to waste. Time as an ICU nurse prepared Shiloh Cahill to keep his airways clear until the ambulance got there. The fire and EMS got here. Uh, they transported me and I can I can tell you exactly where I was when I was sure I was going to die and that was on the on the middle of the King Bridge. Boyle says his next clear memory was waking up in Cleveland. Doctors told him an artery gave way and that one of his lungs had partially collapsed because of it. He says Shiloh and the other staff in the health center were the real superheroes that day. Big emergencies happen when you have this many people in a building together and to have someone here who knows what to do in an emergency can make all the difference. Minutes count in an emergency. Those minutes, the quick actions of others and the knowledge of Joe's cancer is what saved his life. Going to work every day is pretty easy when you know that everybody's there to take care of each other, no matter what your situation is. So I had to ask Joe, 13 years being diagnosed with cancer, how do you do it every day? How do you stay positive? You heard him laugh right there. He said staying positive, putting one foot in front of the other is the only way to, to be alive and to keep going because if you think about the other option, that's where you go down a, a dark rabbit hole. Yeah, and, and in, in a way, he's a teacher, right? He's an educator, and he's showing the kids a lot. The kids are learning a lot mm -hmm. from him, not just what is his classroom work, but also what a human being he is and how brave he is and how strong he is. But I guess he might tell you, I have no choice really, but he doesn't let yeah. it get him down. Not at all. And Shiloh, uh, you know, Joe had said to me, Shiloh knows everything about his medical history. So as soon as he walked in, that nurse Shiloh was able to know exactly what to do and basically kept him alive for the ambulance. To what get does there. he teach at Wait, He teaches history. I love history. He's he loves history. He's so enthusiastic. He loves sports too. So yeah, I saw the Cleveland Cabs sign there on his <laughs> desk. Yeah. Yeah. All right.